no service. Don't need this anymore. I'm going straight up, like always. <laughs> There's no such thing as flat. If you try to wreck my life, why don't you just smile and have a good time about it? I'm always now we're gonna get up here at the top of the ridge and try to glass uh, some bucks up and give us a plan for the morning. You're always down So we got uh, two groups of bucks spotted. Steve's got uh, two other bucks bedded, and uh, sound like they're in a little bit better spot. So I'm gonna head over there, hook up with him, and I don't think these ones gonna go very far. So if we blow those out, come back over here and see what we can do with these. Um, so so far it's been good, nothing huge, but uh, you know we're not trophy hunters. We uh, we take what we, what we can get. smaller bucks, hard horned. They're about 250 yards in front of them down below me this morning. They bedded down. The sun finally hit them. They got up. We think they're going to work their way up towards the saddle, so we're going to try to set up an ambush. Well, we got a hit. Find him? Yeah. Right here. Woo! Not too shabby, huh? made for a boned out mule deer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
Let's see if I can sit down without hurting myself. Feel pretty good? That feels awesome. <laughs> uh, a little bit of sweat back there. Oh, it's good to be done with. <laughs> this is my 19th day in the field in a 30 day month. We've been going hard up and down the hills, putting in the miles. I've had a few close opportunities that just haven't panned out. This is it. Two days left. Don't get it done. We gotta wait another 330 some odd days. If I was an elk, I'd be afraid. Woke this morning with the rising sun, clean my boots and I shine my gun. Little man on a southbound train, he died, oh, oh what a shame. Started walking around midday, till the sun faded away. Came into a strange old town, all the faces stared at the ground. I asked them why their eyes looked down, they said to me, well, And today was, was awesome. We were in bulls all day long, but every time we'd bugle, they'd move away, bugle, move away. And then we got into this draw that, man, there's bulls bugling everywhere, but it's like they keep like a 300 yard buffer from us. Every time we move in, they move over. So it was it was a blast, but it was totally frustrating too. So now we're all the way in here um, on top of a ridge and we can hear bulls bugling outside. And so hopefully in the morning we can get it done. Sheriff was the first I met, his eyes all filled with regret. Decided he couldn't let me be, so he slapped him cuffs right on me. I didn't know just what to do. Life's a win when you can Midday here, just, just afternoon. Sitting down to eat a little lunch. A pretty uh, slow morning today. That bull's right off the get go. After the first 30 minutes of the morning, we haven't uh, haven't touched an elk. We got a big bull located though. We know where he bedded down. And we're thinking we might uh, sneak in there while they're bedding down and try to call him out of his bed. Because when they're up and moving, there's just too many eyes with the cows. It's impossible to get in there. We'll see. Well, you can see that quakey patch. Uh, we're going to get right kind of in between that green and yellow. And uh, the big bull we saw this morning is just in the timber. We don't know if he's 10 yards or 200 yards into the timber, but I'm going to go over there and go kill him.
came in was standing up behind that pine tree, 16 yards, had a frontal shot, probably just put, him, put it right there in the freaking spot. <laughs> oh crap! Oh. He wasn't uh, 150 yards from where we uh, stopped there. Holy crap! Oh, thank you, Lord. So much time and pain and cash withdrawals, Illinois. You got everything quartered up, taken care of, horns are off. We hung the two front shoulders, the back straps and the horns, and some of our camp gear we're going to leave here. We only got about 30 minutes of light left. We probably got three hours of hiking, so hike out to the truck, uh, sleep in the back of the truck tonight, and then uh, come back in in the morning and get the rest. So it's going to be a long, you know, 24 hours roughly. We're not going to get home until late tomorrow night. Did the whole bag dump out? About three quarters of it. <laughs> I don't have any more food. I'm gonna be here another day, so I've gotta eat this off the ground. <laughs> Steve what sure is. <laughs>